In this Roblox Studio tutorial, we are continuing with the rebirth system for our tapping simulator game. Today, we are writing a script that will automatically add buttons to our rebirth GUI. And then the player will be able to click those buttons to rebirth. After clicking the rebirth button, we will set the taps to zero and also increase the rebirth amount in leader stats. So, there is a lot to get through, you don't want to miss out on this video. Let's get started. First I just want to rename this text label, which we moved into server storage in the last video. Currently, it is called text label. And as our program grows we might forget what this is. So rename this to rebirth label. Okay, that's better. We can move these back into server storage now. And we can hide the rebirth GUI, by clicking on the frame and setting the visibility to false. Now for the scripts. Click on server script service, and open the stats script we were working on in the last video. Scroll down to the update rebirth table function we created. Make some room here like this, and let's get into it. This script is getting a little advanced, so rather than explain it line by line. I'll just speed the video up a bit. And at the end of the video, I will explain the script and show the full stats script. For now, just write out this script exactly as shown and it will work. Notice here I'm adding a new function. That is a maths function to round down a number for us. Here we are getting the current value of taps. This needs to be the same name as to how you declared it in your leader stats. This is where we clone our rebirth button and rebirth label from server storage. Make sure you add these three lines up here at the start of the script. Sorry, I forgot to set up the taps needed table. Let's do that now. Just continue writing out the script as shown. Please notice, I pasted a new function here for rounding up. Make sure you add that. Okay, so to explain a little bit. This for loop has cloned the rebirth button and rebirth label for us, and is adding them to the rebirth GUI scrolling frame. Here, it is checking either to show the button or the text label based on the required clicks needed. Okay guys, time to test this and see if it works. Click on your rebirth icon to open the rebirth GUI, and click on the clicker which will load the rebirths for us. Okay, we have an error on line 67. Let's quickly fix that. Back in our script let's check line 67 to see what we did wrong. It looks like we forgot to add dot value here. So, let's add that and give it another run to check. Okay, looks like it worked this time. But my colors are messed up a bit. Back to the script let's fix those colors. If I click on the rebirth button and label, I can check what the colors should be in the properties, like this. Now, in the script, I can just change those values to fix this. Okay, let's give it another run now to check. So, again I clicked on the rebirth icon to show the rebirth GUI. Then I clicked on the tapping clicker which loads our rebirth GUI with the buttons and labels. As you can see now, it has actually worked. This looks fine, but nothing happens when you click the buttons. Let's quickly get that working also. Back to the script. We need to store a value in each button so that we can use the value later in our script. Add this line in here like this. Over under server storage click on the rebirth button. And click the plus sign, to add a new number value like this. This value, as I said will store the rebirth value. So then in our script, 
we can add the rebirth value to the player's current rebirth totals. We also need to add a local script to each button. Click the plus sign on the rebirth button and add a new local script. Before we write some code in here, we need to create a remote event. Back in the stats script, scroll to the top and add these three lines. I am just going to copy these three lines and change them. The variable I used for this event is called add rebirth event. Just make the same changes like me and the remote event name I called add rebirths. That's it. For now, let's go back to our button local script and add the code there. Inside the rebirth button's local script, write out this code as shown. This code is calling the event we just created and sending it the button's rebirth amount value. That's the rebirth button script done. Now inside our stats script, we need to add a new function. This function will run when the add rebirth event is fired. First, write this line, which connects to the onServer event. You can see this onServer event is going to call an add new rebirths function, which we haven't created yet. So, let's add that now and we are almost done. That's it. Time for a run to test it. Click the rebirth icon to open the rebirth GUI. Then click the clicker. Okay, now click the rebirth button. I have left a few errors in this video on purpose. So I can show you how to work through these errors. Let's deal with this first one. Back to the script, we are looking at line 124 in our stats script. It's just a spelling mistake, fix this up as shown, and let's run it again. Let's try again. Okay, this time, we don't have an error which is good. But, nothing is happening, our rebirths don't increase. Okay, let's check the script. Okay, we actually didn't add to the rebirth count, nor did we set taps to zero. So let's add a few more lines and we are done. Okay, let's run it to check. Okay, another error. This time on line 133. Let's fix it. Click stop and go back to the stats script. I can see what I did wrong. I forgot to add dot value here. Add it like this and let's run again to check. Click the rebirth icon, click the clicker, and click the rebirth button. And another error. That's fine, we can fix errors all day. Let's check line 134. This time we didn't have a capital P for player GUI. Change it like this. And let's run it again. Click the rebirth icon, click the clicker, and click the rebirth button. Oh look another error. This is the last one I promise. This is very good to show you how to fix these though as they are easy mistakes to make. Back to the stats script and let's check line 134 again. So, the error says. Taps GUI is not a valid member of player GUI. It means we likely have it named different in the script than where we created it. So check like this. Notice, for some reason I had GUI in capitals. It just needs to be the same in both places. Let's run it one more time. Click the rebirth icon, click the clicker and click the rebirth button. And bam! Another error. Okay, stay patient and don't get discouraged. You are doing great. We will fix this. Line 135 this time. Ah, the dot value again. See, you already know how to fix it. Make this change and let's run it again. Click the rebirth icon, click the clicker and click the rebirth button. And yes finally. It worked. It has reset the taps to zero. Increased our rebirth amount by one, and reloaded the rebirth GUI with new values. Okay, after the first time it worked great. But now it's not changing the button in the rebirth GUI. So I can't click it. Okay back to our script let's check this. Copy this code, and paste it inside the prepare to update rebirths table. This code destroys the buttons and image labels inside the scrolling frame. 
there is one more tweak we need to make to fix the problems. This line, which updates the left tap counter, doesn't always work from the server side. So, I am going to move it to a changed event and place a new script inside starter character scripts. Click on starter player, and click the plus sign next to starter character scripts. Then add a local script like this. This script is just a quick one. Type this out as shown. That's it. It should all work now. Let's check. Okay, while clicking the clicker, notice how the button changes color when it reaches 11 taps. Now I can click the rebirth button. That first one worked. It set taps to zero which is correct. And it added one to my rebirths total. And the second one worked as well. My rebirths are now two. And my taps were set to zero. That's working well as you can see. Let's test the 10 rebirths by clicking up to 110 taps. I currently have 3 rebirths, so I should have 13 after this. Okay great. It's all working now. If you are having trouble with yours, this is the part of the video where I show you my full scripts up to this point. Thanks for watching. You will also notice that there was a lot of error checking and fixing in this video. You will have the same errors, so work through those errors, like I did and you should be fine. Stay watching while I show you the final scripts. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I will have more consistent uploads in the future, as the channel is growing really fast. Thanks for your support. Also, the game I am developing with Intel Plays, is almost finished. I am hoping to launch that this week. Stay tuned for that exciting news, and I can show you the latest game that I created. In the next video, we will fix up our data stores script, so that it saves the rebirth data. And also if we have time, we will add gems, so that when the player rebirths they receive one gem for each rebirth. That's all coming up and more. Stay tuned and hit the notifications and click on all. Please like the video as that also helps support my channel. Also, our clicks should increase after rebirthing. So that will be in the next video as well. This is the God of Coding at Epic Blocks Dev signing off, see you in the next one.